Okay, so here are the mechanics. And like I said, this is an old T-Rex 700 V1. Um, you know, with the bell cranks and everything. But I completely updated it as, you know, as much as I could. I put the wide, the wide main gear with the slant slant tail drive gear all the red gears in and same thing with the tail all the red gears um, I'm using a micro beast I have an axon that I wanted to use but now I'm thinking I'm going to save the axon for a turbine project that I'm thinking about so there is no speed control in here yet I'm expecting that next week I've got a Contronic uh, 140 coming for it and then the rotor head on this thing is a Roban 5 blade head um, like I said it's it's set up right now um, you know I go through it again try to track the blades before I, I'm gonna definitely test fly this thing as pod and boom first now, you can see it says 760, right? So I shortened the boom back here so that the fuselage will just, right there is where it would stick out, right there. And that just works out perfect. Um, it's together now because I'm planning on flying it as pod and boom first. Now, the other thing was the tail control rod, of course, had to be lengthened, but the 760 control rod was too long, so I had to shorten it. So, um, let me show this one. This is the one I'll probably use. This is these. This the tail. The end here is a uh, quick, quick UK. I epoxied it and then pinned it. And then there is a piece of aluminum tubing and then inside it is a piece of like 440 wire inside the carbon. And I just loaded it up with epoxy, pushed it together, and eh, I don't think that's going anywhere. I mean, if that pulls apart, I got bigger problems than, than that. So, And then the other thing too is the ta uh, these tail boom supports you can't really use them but i wanted to use something and this is about as far as i can put it into the fuselage it comes right about here somewhere and then so i just cut them now on this interesting thing about this too this bottom plate on these mechanics that bottom plate is from an assault 700 the the old hobby king clone thing I use that because you know it's, it's much more solid than the, the carbon fiber plate so I thought that would work better and then these mounts here are Roban mounts too and then you know this thing I'll paint like I said I'll paint this gray but these bolts come through there and you know that lines up perfect so I think it's going to be good but I did you know it's just so much work to get it to this point and you know like I said I get the speed control and I'm gonna bolt some skids on it and just make sure it flies okay like like this before I put it in there because I made so many modifications with the length of the boom and everything so um what else did I leave anything out um see oh yeah I've also yeah I, I did put lights now let me get the the thing with the lights is you could see this tail light you know the wires would have had to been external you know you can't really feed the wires inside and there's a lot of people on YouTube who made these lights functional you know I chose not to I basically have this one up here which is a strobe and then this one down here which is a strobe 
And so I just have those two lights on it. Maybe in the future I could make the tail light work, but so oh and then and then the last thing on the tail is let me see when I change to the red gears this shaft is six millimeters all the way out right and so the hub of this v1 tail is five millimeters it, it went down so I just uh, chucked this up and drilled that to six millimeters so it would fit on there and again I'll have to see you know how that goes if there's vibration or what pretty sure I got it straight and also this this dual dual control here is updated too the early one didn't have that either so I did all I could to this thing to update it so I think that's it I think I covered everything I wanted to show you know after I get the speed control I get all that adjusted these are basically uh, telemetry wires I got telemetry I've got sorry about that uh, temperature for the motor 5 pack voltage this is my uh, satellite and change over the tail control rod to this this other one I made and it should do it hopefully it flies okay and then I'll stick it in there and I'll do another video when I get the whole thing done but yeah I mean it's the thing is really nice the paint is really nice on this thing no, I don't know how they do it. I oh, yeah, these things are glued on the rocket pods. <laughs> the rocket pods on this thing, a little ridiculous. I mean, these rocket pods, you're supposed to be able to stick something in here to release it and they come off. I tried that, I feel like I'm gonna break it. So, these things will probably never come off unless they fall off. So, but you've got these uh. It's like two and a half or 2.6 millimeter bolts with pads on them and you adjust them down so it tightens us up. I feel like they could have just glued them on there and been fine, but hey. So anyway, there it is. And uh, you know, like I say, when I get the thing done and test flown, I'll do another video on how it turned out. So peace out. Thanks for checking it out.